In this video, I'll take a look at the custom expressions component. This is a very powerful functionality that sets Chartworld apart from many other stock screeners. It allows you to create your own individualized screening filters with all the available screening properties. And an overview of all the available properties can be found in the main menu on the left. The article you are seeing right now is also available on the website, link below in the description of this video. Combining different properties into a personalized filter is called an expression, and a complete expression always has the following three parts. A left-hand side of the expression, the comparison itself, and the right-hand side of the expression. So if you want to define that A is bigger than B, A is defined in the left-hand side, the comparison function bigger than comes in the equation, and B is finally defined in the right-hand side. And for both the left-hand side and right-hand side of the expression, there are three options. An expression, an expression with a mathematical operator, which again creates two sides. A constant, for example, 5, 34, 10, or 0 0.45, etc. And a property, one of the properties described in the documentation. And this may seem a bit complicated at first, but after the examples shown in this video, you will quickly realize that it really is all quite straightforward. So my name is Christoph, and welcome to part 6 of the Chartmill Academy series. Example 1, price versus the 52-week high. In the standard screening filters, there are several options available that allow you to define the price versus the highest price of the past 52 weeks. However, the options are limited because it would become far too cluttered to display all percentages as default filters. In the stock screener, for example, there is the possibility to filter stocks that are at maximum 5% away from the highest 52-week price. If you consider this distance too small and you would rather change the 5% into a margin of 10%, you will have to use a custom expression. And this is how you do it. For the left-hand side, select Property, and then select Current Price. For the comparison, select Bigger Than or Equal To. And for the right-hand side of the expression, select Expression. And then again, for the left-hand side, select Property, and choose 52-week high. For the operator, select the multiplication sign. And for the right-hand side, select constant and fill in 0 0.90. In the screener, it looks like this. We use the constant 0 0.90 to multiply by the 52-week high to arrive at a value that is 10% lower than the 52-week high. Suppose the 52-week high was at 100. By multiplying by 0 0.90, we obtain the value 90, which is exactly 10% lower than 100. We have now selected all the stocks that are at most 10% away from their 52-week high. But of course, this also includes the stocks whose closing price itself represents the 52-week high. If we want the price to be at least 1% below the 52-week high, we again use a custom expression with the following properties. For the left-hand side, the property current price, for the comparison smaller than or equal to, and for the right-hand side, an expression again, with the left-hand side property 52-week high, again the multiplication sign, and then for the right-hand side of the expression constant, and the number 0 0.99. The screener is showing this, and by combining these two custom expressions, we defined that we want all the stocks that are at most 10% away from the 52-week high, but at the same time are still at least 1% below that 52-week high. Example 2, defining candlestick patterns. The added value of using custom expressions are particularly noticeable when you want to define patterns that include both today's and yesterday's price. An example of this is found in the Bollinger Bands strategy. For this strategy, we are searching for a reversal pattern based on the price movement for the last two days as shown in the chart. The stock shows a rising trend and the second last trading day, the price closed below the lower Bollinger Band. However, the current close is again above the lower Bollinger Bands. 
defining that previous trading day is not possible with a standard built-in filter. For that we need to use a custom expression. The condition to be defined, the previous trading day's close must be below the value of the lower Bollinger Bands. So for the left hand side of the expression, select property and select previous close. For the comparison, select smaller than and for the right hand side, again select property and choose lower Bollinger Bands. Add filter. Some results after applying this custom expression. Both these charts indeed show that the second to last trading day the price ended below the lower Bollinger Bands. However, because the last trading day was not yet defined, on the right hand chart one sees a result where that last candle closes below the lower Bollinger Bands as well. And that is not the pattern we are looking for. Defining the last trading day so the closing price higher than the lower Bollinger Bands, can easily be done with the available standard filters in the Indicators menu. Select Price is bigger than lower Bollinger Bands. With this combination of a custom expression and a standard filter, you only get results like these, where the closing price of the last candle is always higher than the lower Bollinger Band. Now, what if you would like to define the last candle in even more detail? Suppose you want to define that the closing price of the most recent candle should not only be higher than the lower Bollinger Band, but also higher than the high of the previous candle. So what do we want to achieve is this. This stock has the following characteristics. The second to last candle closed below the lower Bollinger Band. The most recent candle has again a close which is higher than the lower Bollinger Band. And at the same time, the most recent candle has a close which is higher than the high of the candle before. We defined points 1 and 2 above with a custom expression and a standard filter. As for point 3, we also use a custom expression and proceed as follows. For the left hand side of the expression, choose property and select current price. For the comparison, select bigger than. And for the right hand side of the expression, choose property and select previous high. As the examples above have shown, custom expressions offer unprecedented possibilities for fine-tuning your filters in great detail. You can use them to refine the standard filters, but you can also develop completely new filters and price patterns. It is one of the most powerful applications in Chartmill and its possibilities will be further developed in the future. The application might take some time to get used to, but don't let that discourage you from using it. And if you have any questions or remarks, feel free to contact us. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.